Hi, and today is a momentous day for me. It's actually an even more momentous day for my son Taj, who's turning seven today. So it's pretty obvious why it's a momentous day for him, and he certainly enjoyed this morning uh, ripping open all his uh, presents. But let me tell you why it's a bit of a milestone for me. You see, Taj turns seven today. He's my youngest, which means that all of my three kids are now seven years or older. And when I had kids, I made sure that I dedicated my whole, they were my number one priority. Uh, and so for 10 and a half years, that's how old my oldest one is, I have made sure that if it comes to commitments between work and family or social life or anything else, then the kids and the family are the number one priority. And uh, that will continue to be the case uh, as they grow older. But let me tell you why this is a milestone. You see, in psychology, we know that people transition through different periods. So the first seven years of someone's life is what we call the imprint period. So the imprint period is where uh, everything around us, we take on uh, imprints of uh, those things that we experience into directly into the unconscious mind. You see, up until uh, the age of seven, our mind doesn't do much reality checking. At the age of seven, we develop something in the mind which we call a critical faculty, and it's like a reality checker. So if you talk to someone before the age of seven and say, you know, Father Christmas really does exist, they will just take it on surface value. They, it will create an imprint and they will, at the unconscious level, just realize, yes, well, this stuff exists. And then at the age of seven, this critical faculty, and obviously it's a little older for some people and younger for, for others, but on, on average it's around seven years old, they begin to have this reality check where they question everything that is provided, any information that is new to them to see whether it accords with their current map of reality. Now why this is important is because before the age of seven, uh, we are effectively just like unconscious minds walking around. So anything that happens before the age of seven makes an incredibly deep imprint on our psyche for the rest of our life. And as a coach, I know working with 40, 50, 60 year olds, that often issues that people are dealing with and have de dealt with all their life date back to events that happened between the age of zero to seven. So that's why the ages of zero to seven are so, so critically important in someone's life. Now it's not to say that if there's a trauma or a, a, a limiting decision that people have made before the age of seven, we can of course get over it in later years. But nevertheless, it creates a deep uh, impact on, to, on us and so to all extents it is a responsibility of adults, ourselves, parents in particular, to try to make sure that people have the most empowering suggestions possible from the ages of zero to seven. So that's why I've been uh, critically careful and giving as much time as possible uh, to upbringing my children up until the age of seven. Now, obviously I will continue to do so, but I can maybe breathe a little easier uh, that and hope that I've done a good job. So I've got three re you know, happy kids, so hopefully we have done a good job as parents, Emily and myself, only time will tell. Uh, but uh, today is that occasion where I can look back and hopefully congratulate, congratulate myself on a, a job well done, trying to upbring uh, our kids in the best possible way. And uh, I uh, guess a suggestion to everyone else out there that, ha that uh, have young kids, and the effort that you put in between the ages of zero to seven are uh, so important uh, that anything you do there is maybe worth 10 times the effort uh, of trying to help them when they're teenagers or older still. So it is worth taking the time when you've got young kids to make sure that the imprints 
and the learnings that you're laying down for your young child are uh, positive and going in deep at that unconscious level. So I hope everyone else is having a great day and I look forward to seeing you again in the next blog. Peter signing off.